Yeah, hi. Can I have your resume, please? Thank you. So, your name is Chandrasekhar, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So, Chandrasekhar, this is the in technical interview for one of our Java openings that we have in our companies. Okay. okay. So, we are looking for the people who are very good at Java. So, as per your resume, so you have mentioned like uh, you are very good at java so you know java advanced java all those topics right yes sir okay so yeah good so can you start with some self introduction hi sir good morning my name is chandrasekhar mm, i am from satyampalli i relocated to hyderabad because of my job purpose i completed my btech in the stream of computer science and engineering from babatla engineering college i got 7.7 cgpa i completed my btech in 2020 I completed my intermediate in the stream of MPC from Narayana Junior College in Guntur. I completed my intermediate in 2016. I got 948 marks in my intermediate. I completed my SSC from Sri Veka High School in Ranchintala. I completed my SSC in 2014. I got 8.8 .8 CGPA in my SSC. I have six members in my family. Uh, uh, in my free time, listening music, watching movies, um, reading news, papers. I have to know the trending technologies uh, and help agriculture in my father. Um, these are my hobbies. Coming to my project, um, my project name is Prediction of Lung Cancer Survivability by Using Support Vector Mission and Lung Stick Regression. Um, the main aim of project is to find out the cancer patients by using um, Support Vector Mission and Lung Stick Regression algorithms. Um, we can implement those algorithms. Uh, take one data set and that data set we can test and try uh, we can uh, calculate the accuracy values of uh, cancer um, we can give the input as smoking uh, yellow fingers anxiety to give this input the output the output comes 0 or 1 um, the output comes 0 uh, the cancer does not occur the sp that patient the output come once uh, the pressure can uh, the patient can occur the cancer this is the main aim this is the project okay mm -hmm. yeah very yes. nice good all right yes, sir. so this is a technical round of interview right so okay. we want to know how good you are in java so let us discuss some technical things on java yes, sir. okay so <clears throat> can you tell some um, object oriented concepts which java follows yes sir when a language is called as object oriented programming language, it follows um, some principles. Those principles are uh, abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, and polymorphism. These four concepts follow that language is called as object oriented programming language. So, does Java follow these four? Yes, sir. Okay, good. So, can you tell what is encapsulation is? Encapsulation means uh, reusability of the code in technical words we say that encapsulation encapsulation is a technique encapsulation is a mechanism it is the combination of data and code in a single unit it is called as a encapsulation in encapsulation having classes uh, methods and objects um, to provide the security of the code we can use the encapsulation Okay, so if you want to provide the security, then we'll go for encapsulation. Security yes. of the code or uh, security of the data? Security of the data. Data and code also, right? Code so when we say code means methods will be there. So we need to provide security to data also and method also. So, well, okay, that's good. All right. Yes, so can you tell what is uh, in, uh, inheritance is? Inheritance means reusability of the code. Uh, we can say that uh, inheritance is a concept. Um, it can access one class um, methods and variables to another class okay. is known as an inheritance okay so what is advantage why we need inheritance um, we can reusability of the code reusability of the code yes. okay good so how many types of inheritance we have uh, inheritance have two types inheritance have four types sir Mm, that one is a single level inheritance, multi level inheritance, hierarchical inheritance, and hybrid inheritance. Okay, all right. Yes. So, do you know what is multiple inheritance? Multiple inheritance, yes, sir. In, in multiple inheritance, having uh, two parent classes and one child class is known as multiple inheritance. In multiple inheritance, mm, uh, having the two parent classes. 
having one child class that time the child class called the parent class methods uh, we got confusion child class have confusion which parent which parent method have which parent class is called which parent method is called mm. that uh, confusion is called as an ambiguity mm. um, so this concept is not supporting um, inheritance concept this concept also supporting interfaces in java okay so you mean to say java supports multiple inheritance or not uh, in inheritance concept are not supported multiple inheritance multiple inheritance not supported it will not support okay then yes. if i want to achieve multiple inheritance in java how do we do what we can do uh, go through the interfaces concepts interfaces so with interfaces we can do, we can do okay it. yeah good all right yes, <clears throat> So, do you know what is the use of super keyword? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, super keyword is a reference reference of variables. It is used for the immediate parent class object. Okay. We can use the super keyword. Okay. So, can you write the syntax? How to use super keyword? So, I can take this one. So can you write the syntax? How to use super keyword for a variable, for a method? So can we call the constructor also by using super? Yes sir. So can you write the syntax? Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Fine. So can you tell what is method overloading? method overloading means two or more methods having same name but different therein parameters uh, the list of uh, we can list of parameters are uh, data type of parameters number of parameters um, and sequence of parameters okay. it is called as method overloading okay all right okay so <coughs> can you write the syntax how to write a main method can you write that code how to write the main method yeah okay so public static void main okay so what are all these words those words are called keywords sir. keywords okay so can you explain what are yes, these sir. keywords why we are using for main method can you explain yes sir public is a access modifier sir static is a keyword it is used for the static methods uh, by using static keyword for that method uh, we does not create object for that class also uh, we can execute that method so that can use the um, static keyword uh, wide keyword is uh, method does not return any value we can use the wide keyword mm -hmm. main is the method sir. Okay. in string is a data type mm -hmm. I, this is a array mm -hmm. this array is type data type is strings okay so from where the values will be coming for this array from where the values will come now these values are coming from the we can give command from mm. uh, that uh, these values are stored from this arrays okay so whatever the values that, that we can came be from stored. command prompt 
those values will be assigned to the array, right? Yes, okay, sir. good. So, can you tell what is this public access modifier is? So, public access modifier, um, we can access public modifier any class, any method, anywhere in the program, sir. Okay, anywhere in the program. Yes. Okay, all right. Okay. Okay. So, is Java case sensitive language? Yes, sir. So, what does it mean? Java Java is called a case sensitive language because we can use the capital letters and small letters. Uh, by mistake in capital letter we can use small letter, the program can ex uh, does not execute. Okay. So called is a, it has a case sensitive programming language. Okay, so wherever capital letters are required, we have to use capital, capital letters. letters. Yeah, that's yes, good. Sir. Yeah, good. All right. What is a constructor? Constructor is a special method. Uh, it executes only once in a program. Uh, constructor is used for the creation of uh, initial or initialization of a um, class variables. Okay. Uh, so it is called as constructor. Okay. So do you know what is the difference between a normal method and a constructor? Yes, sir. Okay. We write constructor have follow some rules. Mm. A constructor name and class name should be same. Mm. Um, but we can write method does not follow mm. um, any name we can take mm. for which one method mm. yes sir uh, constructor does not written any uh, written type mm. because a constructor is used for the initialization of class variables so does not written type is not required mm. for constructor mm. uh, constructor will call automatically mm. Uh, by uh, we creating a, an object of main class, mm. the constructor will call automatically. Okay, but right. method does not uh, follow. Mm. We create that class object, uh, then uh, object we can call the method. Once we call the method only, method will method. not execute, yes. or else it will not, not execute. execute. Whereas constructor, when it will execute, you say? Uh, while creating an object mm. that uh, automatically call the Construct. Okay, that's good. All right, good. So, all right. So that's very nice. Okay. So, <clears throat> so like uh, we are actually looking for people. Um, okay, for Java projects. Okay. So like, um, are you interested in Java? Yes, sir. Okay. So why did you select Java as a technology? In, in industry more technologies are coming mm. and the technologies are one year two years also gone mm. first java for java uh, at the starting of year at the end of the year uh, till, till running also running mm. some new features are added uh, that's java is not uh, ended so you because it's ends. not a new technology it's a very old technology always there will be uh, new things that will be coming I mean, in Java, so yes, we can get a good opportunity to learn. That's right. what you're saying. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's good. Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> okay. So, like uh, one thing I want to ask you, like uh, there are other people also who have come for the interview. So, can you tell one reason uh, why we should hire you? Because I have already trained in Java and uh, compared to others uh, to know some uh, Java uh, full uh, um, course sir, mm. and some uh, other topics also known mm. when compared to others. Others. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Good. Okay, so nice chance, Shikhar. It was nice talking to you. Okay, yeah. so regarding the next round of interview, our HR uh, people will get back to you. Okay, yes. all right, thank you. Yes, okay, good. Thanks. All right, nice chance, Shikhar. So that was the mock interview. So at the, that we did. Okay, yes. so yes. good. So as you know, right? So we will be we are doing this mock interview every week. Yes, okay. Sir. So basically why we do this mock interview, I already told you, right? So when we go for real interview, we'll have some interview fear. To overcome that interview fear, 
we do this kind of mock interviews so that you, when you go for the real interview you can attend the interview with confidence yes, okay sir. so that's a good okay so i just want to tell few feedback points to you yes, okay so overall you did well yes, okay so in self introduction okay yes, so <clears throat> in self introduction um, in uh, when you told about your academic project so you told about the modules everything but you have to even tell about what concepts you have used so if it is a, like a, a it project so you have to tell in it what topics you have used if it's a non it project you need to tell about what sensors what things you have used so you need to tell about those things also yes. apart from modules so what technical things okay so that you have used in your project so those things also you need to explain okay then uh, you can add a little bit more about your hobbies so in the self introduction we need to tell about all these things okay so we can tell about the hobbies okay so a little bit more details you can add okay then uh, you told about the college percentages okay that is fine good okay then uh, you told about your um, okay then uh, your school everything yeah that's good okay and um, coming to technical things okay so technical things so yeah so you did well so whatever the theory questions uh, which i have asked so you answered correctly yes, okay sir. so coming to program little bit uh, you did a mistake here yes, okay sir. so with the help of super keyword okay yes, so we will not use constructor dot constructor not required so simply by putting brackets it's enough so this is correct variable name is correct method name is correct so super keyword so directly brackets are enough to call the constructor we don't have to tell dot constructor so this is not required so main method what you wrote the syntax explanation is also good okay so but still you need to practice little bit okay so uh, this uh, static uh, keyword so which i have asked so still uh, definitions and all you have to practice okay and when you were uh, telling the answers for oops concepts first you need to start with some definition but what you are doing actually you are telling the advantage, advantage. okay so when uh, in an interview if an interviewer ask you what is an inheritance so we have an inheritance definition right which is given in the material so you need to tell that definition inheritance is a concept in which one class acquires the properties of another class, other class. so you first tell the definition yes. then you can tell about the advantage yes. Okay, no. So definitions are very, very important. All the definitions are given in the material. So you need to practice those definitions. Okay. So, but well, overall good. You have tried very well. Okay. So when you do for next time, so you need to prepare very well the definitions. Okay. So next interview, when we do this mock interview, so you have to do better than this time. Okay. And uh, that was on technical things. And uh, coming to the HR questions, which I have asked, right? Why we should hire you? So this is the most commonly asked question in any interview. So when we go for an interview, generally many people will be there. So he will ask you in the interview, why should we hire you? So as you told, right? So I'm very good at Java. So we need to highlight your points. Okay. So you have told very well. So our, uh, I know Java very well. I know basic Java, advanced Java, all the concepts. As you can see, I have written the code also, sir. Okay. So that proves that I'm very good at Java. Okay. Then not only that. So you can tell about the other things, good qualities that you have regarding um, your uh, personality. Okay, so you can tell uh, that um, I'm a quick learner, sir. Okay, I can learn any technology very fast. I'm a hardworking person, sir. So this kind of, uh, um, uh, what do we say, uh, good attributes. So whatever you have, no, good qualities, so that you need to tell. So I'm a hardworking, sir. So if you're given any work, I can complete the work on time, sir. Okay, then, um, okay so i did many mini projects also sir when i have learned java so i got good appreciations from my uh, trainer sir so all those things whatever you have achieved so you need to tell about that okay then interviewer will get convinced okay so you are very good then uh, chances are that uh, he will consider you for the job okay so like this all these points you have to tell in your next uh, mock interview yes, okay so nice Chandrasekhar, it was very good okay so again uh, we'll do this kind of mock interview next week also okay thank you